Hello lovelies, I'm the Fragnostic and welcome to tonight's innocuous looking Let's Slay, a free to play point and clicker named A Date in the Park. I've been assured that the horror runs strong in this one despite its twee romantic appearance, so let's not delay. Shock me with your park based terrors, like inexplicably locked toilets, and children, and dogs the size of fucking cattle bearing down on you from across the tree line. Well, this is it. Tapada das necessidades. I can't believe I've only been in Lisbon for a week and already I've met the most beautiful woman in the city. Katerina is her name. I met her in a bar last night and we talked for hours. She was absolutely enchanting. The last thing she said as she hopped into the taxi was meet me tomorrow at the Tapada das Necessidades by the duck pond at 12pm. And well, here I am! I'm on time so hopefully she's in there somewhere. Left click on summit to interact with it, right click to look at it. Move the cursor to the top of the screen to access your inventory and settings. Once inside the park you may right click on exits to automatically travel to them. Do note the most background scrolls so be sure to look around. Where are you hiding my flower? In the fucking garbage? It's a rubbish bin. I don't have anything to throw away. I can see someone lurking in the shadows beyond the window. Katerina? My lurky petal? Hello? No, oh, okay. Portuguese. Uh, sorry, do you wish to enter the park? Uh, English? Now. The entrance ticket costs three euros. Ah, euros. Three euros? Yes, three euros. I think I need to give him three euros to enter the park. Right, what's in the inventory? Wallet. Well, that's got to be it, hasn't it? There you go, boss. Here is the entrance fee. Thank you. Now you can enter the park. Thank you. Take a map of the park. Have a good rest of the day. Oh, thanks. He's given me a map of the park! Well that's the least you want for three euros to walk around staring at a bunch of bloody bushes, isn't it? How'd you put this away? There we are. The opening times. Closes late. Not late enough for my liking. <laughs> the signs are all in Portuguese but I assume they're saying something about parking or traffic. Lisbon's a great city for walking around in. I don't think I will even need to buy a car. This door seems to lead into the wall of the park. Katerina, don't be shy. Open the door and kiss my face. The door's locked. I don't think I need to go in here. I've just got here. I'm not going to leave without seeing Katerina. I've paid my three euros. I want some fucking action. No, I mean. I'm not a big tree climber. I guess there are many more of these lovely trees and bushes inside the park. Alright, come on then. I'm guessing that's a private room in there. Yes, it's a door. Don't start getting bloody sarky with me, lad. Save that winning mana for Katerina. Chicks dig arseholes. The park stretches off in two directions. I can instantly see why Katerina loves this place so much. It's beautiful. The sun's shining, the birds are singing, and I've got a date to meet. I've never been what you'd call lucky in love. I left behind a string of failed relationships back in London. I guess I've just never met someone who truly clicked with me. I know it's way too early to say, but I have a feeling that Katerina really does seem different to the others. I mean, I'd only just met her and there we were, discussing our most private of thoughts with each other. Is it normal to open up so quickly to someone? 
I just felt so comfortable. I'd never discussed the death of my parents last year with anyone until last night. It just seemed natural when she oozed genuine compassion. Maybe don't use that word in front of her. I deserve a break. That's what she said to me over and over again with a very reassuring flash of a beautiful smile. I just can't wait to see her again. Anyway, focus! Let's find this dock pond. The fountain is spurting away pleasantly. I wonder if Katarina is a spurter. The water is cool and refreshing to the touch. Like a corpse. I'm already getting murdery vibes from this guy. It's the ticket office for the park. In there sits my three euros, never to be seen again. The worker there doesn't speak English, there's no point disturbing him. But I speak Portuguese, so we could learn some new swears. There's probably a hundred of these in the park. I don't feel like sitting down right now. He's getting antsy. It's got a coin slot on the top, so I guess it's a donation box. Should we donate something? I've already paid three euros at the gate, and I don't want this place to bankrupt me. Katarina's a lucky woman. Let's check out this map. Judging by the quality of this map, I don't think the park authority here has a very big budget. Pretty big place though, it seems to be a couple of ponds. Yeah, wow, this is quite the effort, isn't it? That's sub-toddler level. If my son brought that home from nursery, I'd fucking burn it in front of him. Let the hunt begin. <laughs> Nature. Nature everywhere. Tons of the shit. Trees line the edge of the park. I can just see the walls beyond the foliage. It's beautiful. Humans need to spend more time in places like this. Give me a tree over an iPad any day. I try not to make a habit of lurking around undergrowth. To be fair, iPads and trees serve two completely different purposes, so while I get the gist of what you're trying to say, I can't help but feel that Katarina's perception of your rambling bullshit is going to be significantly less charitable without the aid of alcohol. Is this a duck pond? What? Are there ducks? Oh, here we go. This is looking promising. It quacked. It's definitely a duck, and not a shark, but will it get in the pond? The little one's up for it. God, this is tense. Stop torturing me. He's thinking about it. And in he goes. It's now officially a duck pond. Well, that confirms it. It's a duck pond, alright. I wonder where she is. I think she even said something about a bench beside the pond. Or am I making that up? My memory is hazy. There's another pond on the map to the north. Maybe I should check that out. The duckling seems to be having some trouble getting over the curb of the pond. Should we help it? This seems like a test. The poor little duckling struggling to jump over the curb of the pond. Poor little fella. Let's do it. In you go, buddy. Fuck me. Yeah, go on. Just pelt the poor little bastard in there, why don't you? Yeah, I'd run too. And off they go. Hopefully that gives me some good karma, reuniting mother and child. I think you may have fractured its skull. Let's go find that second pond. I can see the entrance area down that southern path. The northern option goes deeper into the park. North it is then. So either this guy is the killer or Katarina is. Not enough evidence to decide yet. This guy's certainly got the whole clingy chloroform you and cut you up in the bathtub if you ever leave me type thing going on. It's some sort of emergency exit gate, which is amusing in that it's secured with a multitude of heavy duty padlocks. Amusing how. 
amusing by way of imagining your victims desperately trying to scale it as you slowly approach, razor in hand. The gate is locked with several massive padlocks. Beyond it is a tiny staircase which spirals down the outer wall of the park. It's probably a 20 meter drop to the bottom. Lisbon is one hilly city. Is his portrait one of those stock photos from a dating site? It's got that air of metrosexual marriage bait about it. It's an impressive and rather old looking statue of a male Roman god. A small plaque at his base seems to suggest his name is Sancus. He has a heroic, though slightly smug expression. <laughs> Remind you of anybody? Looks like a luxurious apartment complex. The buildings are well out of reach. <laughs> Financially and physically, eh lad? Picking around in your wallet for three euros. Uh, uh, oh dear. Another junction. The sound of the birds chirping away in the trees is very peaceful. I'm loving this place. No, uh, this way. Don't really want to upset myself trying to work that map out. I'll just guess. A very grand plant pot. There's no need to climb it. I wouldn't want to topple it over. That's what you call a lead on in these point and click games. It means don't topple it over yet. It's probably a dead important key in there or something. This is a charming little secluded area. I think I can see water up ahead. This is a lovely spot for a bit of lunch. I should have brought some drinks and nibbles. I'll come back here with Katarina. It's a romantic spot. And best of all, it's free. Like all things attractive to poor people. Better than an iPad, eh pal? Ah! A human life form! I was beginning to wonder if I was alone in this place. Katarina's not here either though. I can't see any docks. Guess she meant the other one. What's in your sack, peon? This rock sack presumably belongs to the gardener. That's not mine to rummage around in. Hi there. Good day, senor. I'm looking for my friends. I wonder if you might have seen her. Sorry, I don't speak English. Ah, I think that means no English. I'm afraid my Portuguese is nothing to write home about either. Be careful, I saw a strange woman in the bushes. She had a strange look, seemed crazy. Be careful, senor. I'm afraid I don't understand, but thank you for your time. He seems distracted by something in the bushes. I really do need to start learning Portuguese. The phrase book will arrive in a couple of days. I ordered one online. It can't come soon enough, really. I'm just thankful Katarina speaks perfect English. It's strange living in a country where you don't even speak the language. Strange. It just doesn't feel like you truly dare. Who knows what sorts of hilarious conversations I could be having right now with this gardener. If only I could pull finger and get learning. Any dead bodies in the pond? Just to rule you out of my inquiries? Fantasy idea. Skinny dipping here with Katarina. Oh yeah. It's a bit murky, but nice. There's something very peaceful about ponds. 
Well, that's sort of given the game away that, hasn't it? Katarina's a mad woman. See, it's not always an advantage speaking another language. At least this is hidden behind an actual language barrier. I remember when Star Wars Episode 1 came out, if you had the misfortune to glance at the soundtrack listing before seeing the movie, you'd find a track called Qui-Gon's Noble End. Unfucking believable What's an impressive domed building? I wonder what it's for. Hardcore ritual fucking sacrifice to Indo-European blood gods. Katarina will love it. It's an odd building. There's some sort of bust figure across the way. Maybe it used to be a greenhouse or something. Shadowy alcove. There's a bust over there. I think it's of a female goddess or something. It's too shadowy to make out any features. I'm not Stretch Armstrong, it's way too far away. <laughs> 100 points for a Stretch Armstrong reference. Now do Poppy surprise. The door is firmly locked and bolted. There's a little sign beside the door. All it says is Casa de Adrastea. Even with my absolute ignorance of the Portuguese language, I'm pretty sure that means House of Adrastea. Whoever that is, she's the nymph that protected little Zeus from his baby munching father Kronos, if you're curious. A nice spot for some wine and cheese. Cheese grommet. There's nothing on the table. I might come back here with Katarina. It's nice to sit in the shade. It really is getting rather hot. We must have explored the whole park but now. I know that map probably wasn't to scale but we have all the big areas. Oh, rat birds. Whoa, it's a pigeon feeding frenzy. Weird. Whilst these pigeons do look slightly less manky than the ones back in London, I still have no intention of touching them. Now nah, go on, rub your face in them. More benches. Better keep looking around. Maybe if I wrap my hands in something before I touch them, I want to see what poor dead bastard they're eating. I don't want to mess around with those gross pigeons. They might eat me next. Well, that's fair. Pigeons are natural vegetarians, but I've seen plenty digging away at a discarded KFC at one in the morning. Blew. It's a Polaroid photo that Katarina took of the both of us at the bar last night. Boy, she's beautiful, all right. Uh, well, you know, maybe she just doesn't photograph well. That guy is a dead ringer for someone I know though. He's a drama queen, see? His Facebook posts are indistinguishable from those of a 14 year old girl. Caps lock, overzealous tagging and all. He was selling hand moisturizer kits on there last week. I don't friend him, but I don't know. Like all men, I like a good car crash. She's not here, lad, you've been stood up. Come on, let's cut our losses and go to the tile museum before it closes. I don't want to leave the park without even seeing Katarina. Alright, calm yourself down. Look, why don't we just kick the donation box down and go and hire you a prostitute? Actually, there's one path I forgot to go down. We'll check there first. This is actually a pretty faithful depiction of the park from what I remember. I've been there. It's lovely. The statue is smooth and cold to the touch and does not exhibit any signs of secret buttons or levers. I don't want to go around sticking my hands up random dirty old pipes. That's good. You normally have to pay extra for that. I don't need to stick that into the pipe. It's a pipe or drain. I guess this is where the water comes from to fill up this little pool in front of the statue. Yeah, Alright, maybe there's a pump around here or something. Let's check the other one. It's a bit heavy to pick up or move. Besides, there is nothing unusual about it. 
It's a statue of some sort of Roman or Greek god holding a swath of bandages. I don't see the need in sticking my hand up the pipe. It's a pipe, probably funnels water into the pool in front of the statue. Can't see anything inside it. Well, if he's holding bandages, is either Asclepius or Vejovis, depending on whether he's Greek or Roman. Aha! Finally we see some English translation. The statue on the left is Vejovis, god of healing and goodwill. The statue on the right is Priapus, god of gardens. Told you, didn't I? There's more information in Portuguese, but that's all I get in English. I remember Katarina saying she had an interest in classics. She must like these statues. Especially the one with its head ripped off. The lunatic. The door is locked and bolted. Peering through the glass doors I can see absolutely nothing. Just a bare room. You know what's driving me crazy? Who this guy reminds me of. I wanted to say Matthew Broderick, but my head's screaming another name at me. Ooh, contraception. Oh, contraption. Right. It looks like some sort of pumping device. Maybe it controls the pools in front of the statues. I have no reason to go fiddling with a pumping device. The rambling symbolism of some local teen, no doubt. Or local death cult. It's not my job to scrub off the graffiti. It's a large window, although it doesn't appear to open. Open it with your foot. It's plain hard to get. The window doesn't open, it's more of a design feature. Peering inside, all I see is an empty room with whitewashed walls. I don't think I'm going to find anything interesting in there. I agree. Let's leave before Katarina stabs us to death from her obvious, obvious hideout. Oh, well, everything about this screams ambush. I heard a noise over by the building. I should check it out. Okie dokie. What kind of date does he expect this to be that he's got to track the girl down via ambient noise? I'm really more of a poacher at this point. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I think I've explored the whole park. Have I been stood up? Yes. Sigh. Just my luck. No, can't always be so negative. Okay, she'll turn up. I just need to keep looking and be patient. The trams aren't too reliable, perhaps you're just caught up in traffic. Maybe I should just go back to that duck pond. Never stop believing, eh buddy? Strange place for a desk chair. Let's take it as a love gift. It's got weird stains on it, no thanks. It's a door! Hello? Hello? Hmm. The door is locked. Is that how you... Don't people knock first? Have you ever had someone stand at your front door just screaming, Hello! That's the type of behaviour that gets one warning shot and then something far deadlier. These bushes mark the end of the path. Unless I find a machete, I'm not getting through that. I've got a feeling the next machete you find will be stuck somewhere you don't want it to be. Here we are then. The ah, mother and child are back. Still no sign of Katarina though. What in the fuck? That doc's disciplining the fuck out of its kid. What the hell? It's still breathing, maybe I can help it. I feel so guilty, this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't helped it into the pond. Let's hope it'll learn some manners. Oh gosh, there's blood all over the little guy. 
I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. Finally, use for the hanky. I'll wrap him up in this hanky. Try and be just a touch more gentle than when you pitched him into the lake there, Randy Johnson. I'll keep him in my pocket. Seems to be breathing okay, but definitely needs some attention. I'll take him to the vet when I find Katerina. That's if she ever arrives. This is turning into a bit of a stinker. Oh great, to top it off, I've got its blood smudged on my shirt. But I have to help the duckling, I'd feel too bad otherwise. Always a sucker for cute animals. In fact, I think I'll give him a name. Oh, alright. Um, there you go, little man. Ah yes, Fuckling is a fine name. It's gonna be okay, Fuckling. I'll look after you. I'll raise you right, Fuckling. Come on, I'm gonna teach you how to smoke. Hey, I heard footsteps behind me. Maybe it's Katerina. Hello? Katerina, come meet Fuckling. Katerina! I didn't do this to him, I swear. What's this then? It's a box. What's in it? A severed head. It's got my name on the top. A gift from Cupid? What is she playing at? <laughs> I wonder what's inside. Let's find out. Oh shit, you clumsy fuck. The balloon had some sort of note attached to the bottom. I can't see exactly where it's gone, but it seems to be heading north. I should try and find it. I must say, this is all rather romantic. Anything else? There's nothing else in the box. Right then. Where's north? Nowhere on this fucking ass hanky, I promise you. Well, it better not be here. This isn't north. This is... Fuck me, what a joke. And there it goes. The balloon landed in the pond. Go east. Oh shit, I mean west. Sorry. Easy mistake, apparently. Damn it. The balloon is out of reach. There is definitely an envelope attached to it. I need to reach it somehow. As stupid as it sounds, being surrounded by trees and all, I haven't seen any sticks or branches lying around. I don't really want to start damaging trees. I wouldn't want to get in trouble with a gardener. I'd like to see if I can find something else to help me before I resort to snapping trees to pieces. Fine, right. Oh, the duck! It's going to be okay, Fucklin. I'm going to save you. How about the bag now, mate? He's not here. Hmm, maybe there's something in here that can help me get to the balloon. Fingers crossed the gardener doesn't catch me. There is nothing much of interest in here to be honest, mainly little packets of seeds. But there's a key here, I'll take it, it might be helpful. I'll be sure to put it back before I leave the park. Yep, I bet I'll definitely not be too busy screaming or dead to do that. Open sesame. I wonder what's inside. There's no sign of anyone in here. It's just shelves of dusty garden equipment and lots of manure. Very stinky manure. Hmm. There's a two meter long telescopic hoe here. That might help me get the balloon. I'll take it. Yeah, where my telescopic hose at? Turning tricks at NASA in exchange for special access to the astronomy department. If only the study of space was more addictive than heroin. What a world we'd live in. This hose about to get wet. 
think we found our clickbait video title. I really don't need to be throwing anything in the pond. I'm not one for corrupting our environment, however contrived it may be. Oh, maybe use it on the balloon then, dipshit. This should be long enough to pull in the balloon. Oh, yeah, look at that. He's like a fucking street magician. Got it. Dear Lou, I hope you don't mind, but as you said last night that you enjoy mysteries so much, I thought we'd play this little game. Hope you like this song, Katarina. Well, I do like mysteries. We talked about it last night. She was amused by my subscription to the 14 times. I wonder if this constitutes a normal date in Portugal. At least I know she's in the park. I've got butterflies in my stomach. But before I can see her, it seems I shall have to indulge this game of hers. Who knows, this could be great fun. Now, what does she mean when she says I hope you like the song? I should take a look around, I guess. She means, I hope you like the sound a screaming man makes as he's stabbed in the neck and chest 78 times because I'm about to play a fucking classic of the genre. I can hear music playing very softly. This must relate to Katarina's clue. Now where is it coming from? Ouch! Fuckling bit me! That stings! <laughs> the poor little guy must be getting distressed. Not long to wait, buddy, don't worry. Fuckling! Good lord, getting our ass kicked by a baby duck. We should get out of this alive, no problem. Ugh. Okay. To the bat pump! Da 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 na 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 What's black? Is black open? I'd imagine you'd want it open on the right side, wouldn't you? Success! Let's go grab our filthy wet prize. Success! The pump has refilled the little pool, bringing the music box out with its flow. It's a small battery operated music box, nothing remarkable about it from the outside, but I wonder what's inside. Well done on finding this clue, dear Lou. As you can see, I've lost my head for you. Come and meet me at the home of Priapus. Smiley face. Cute. Finally, it looks like I'm gonna see her. It's rather exciting. Alright, fuckling, let's go. You will notice that the statue of Priapus has been mercilessly decapitated, Lou. No. These point and click protagonists. You can lead them everywhere except towards common sense. What's this? Another box? Well, it's a bit small for her to pop out of, so I guess it's another clue. This is the one with the severed head. Bet you anything you want. Let's see what she has in store for me now. What the hell? Jesus! It's the gardener! Who called it? She's killed him! What the hell? I... I... I can't believe this. I need to get out of here. The bloody duckling bit me again. Be still, fuckling. There'll be plenty of mutilated corpse to feast on soon. The phone is off the hook and it seems like someone is on the line. Someone's been here. Perhaps I can alert this person to the situation. Help, there's an unruly duckling biting my tit. Hello? There's been a murder at the Tapada das Necessidades Park. Please contact the police. A policeman will be there in a few minutes. Ah, don't understand. 
click. Hello? They hung up! Motherfuckers! Okay, so let me go ahead and predict the end game of this. Okay, she's called the police to frame me. The police are gonna turn up. That stupid doc's gonna bite me again. It will look like I'm reaching for a gun when I go to move it, and I'll get shot. How does that sound? About right? Oh. Ah! It's the breast of the gardener. Nope. What's wrong with you? You've been kicked up the ass. Stop. Stay where you are. Don't move. Hands up. Put your hands in the air. Now. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. Do you speak English? Put your hands in the air. Stay where you are or I'll shoot. Don't move. I haven't d d done anything. <laughs> Shut up! Ah! It bit me again. Raise your hands and drop the gun. Ow! Oh, he's not letting go. No, I'm just getting my little quacker out. <laughs> the suspect is on the ground. I repeat, the suspect is on the ground. I can confirm that the victim is dead. I'll find the witness who made the call. Send reinforcements, please. Well, do I call them right or do I call them right? Off she goes with a used to be a man lurch there. And off runs that treacherous fucking duckling. I hope she eats it. You cut me deep, Fucklin. You cut me real deep. Can't even have an open nipple funeral now. If only I had anyone that loved me to be aggrieved by that. 